Hey, welcome back to my channel, or welcome to my channel if you're new. My name is Chloe, and I love potatoes. I like them in chip form, in crisps. My favourite is probably roast potatoes, I like mash, I like it raw. Anyway, before I start the video, I just want to say that I'm really sorry about missing last week's video. I did film for it, but... After I finished the look, I just really, really didn't like it. It just didn't look good at all. And I just, I just really didn't want to upload it knowing it wasn't my best work. And I just want to be putting my best content on this channel. Today, I'm going to be showing you how I do like my base, how I prepare to put makeup on and then how I do my like foundation and concealer and, and all that jazz. And the reason I'm doing this is because I quite often find in my videos I'm cutting out so much. Almost every time I do like a tutorial, I will talk about why I do certain things of my makeup I do but I just haven't got enough time for it so I always end up cutting it out so I thought if I could do like a little series of how I do my my base and why how I do like my contouring and highlighting and why it would help I'd actually be able to get across the reasons why I do what I do instead of just having to cut them out all the time so yes let's get into this so first of all I have washed my face what I use is this. This is Superdrug's own cleanser and this is from their Naturally Radiant range and I do have two other things from this range. Ever since I've been using it I have noticed my skin has like a really nice natural glow to it. You can kind of see it here. But I have nothing on my skin right now because I've just washed it with this. Nothing is on my skin. And I always just like, after washing it, I always look at my skin and I'm like wow. I have like a really nice natural glow and it's really nice. Also two or three times a week I will use this brush. This is m and own formula brand and this is like a nice little brush with bristles it's a bit wet because I've just used it and it's basically like you know those really expensive I can't remember what they're called now but all the YouTubers use those really expensive brushes that are like massive and they're like oh my god it's so good well this is basically that but like three times cheaper this is like 22 pounds I think you know it has three settings it's got off low which is like this it basically just spins and high and yeah this is really good because it gets rid of like dead skin it makes my skin feel feel really nice and smooth. That is what I do every morning, almost every time I put makeup on without fail, even if I'm getting ready at three o'clock in the afternoon and I haven't washed my face yet, I will do that just before. I can't stand putting makeup on without washing my face first. So after I've washed my face and I come in, I will then use my Pixi Glow Tonic and what I do, I'll just get a little cotton pad and I put a little bit on there. So I've been using this since about April and it really nice, it's really good. I It kind of does a similar thing to my brush it gets rid of all my dry skin. Yeah, so it's, it says it gently exfoliates to remove dead skin cells, revealing healthy glowing skin. Which, yeah, I would say it does do. I use this day and night. I'll use this after I've washed my face. So after I've used that, I will normally start then putting various lotions on my face. And the first thing is my eye cream, and I just use this vitamin E from Superdrug. I use a lot of Superdrug stuff because I know that it's cruelty free, it's vegetarian and vegan. And also it's really good and it's quite cheap. The reason I use this, and I know it has been said that you don't need a different eye moisturiser from your normal moisturiser. I know that, but the reason I use this is because a lot of my moisturisers will have things like, my the things I use on my face are quite harsh, so then I just, I don't really want to be putting harsh stuff around my eyes, so I just like to have a little something for my eyes. And this is only like two quid, so. I will say though, this doesn't really do much. It claims to improve the appearance of the delicate eye area. I wouldn't say it does. So I wouldn't say this like, you know, is a miracle product and like, oh, it's changed my life and blah, blah, blah. But it's just nice to have something for my eyes so I'm not leaving them out and, you know, putting horrible products on them. So I use that day and night as well on my eyes. And then on my face, I love this shit. It's so good. This is a two-in-one moisturizer and serum from the Naturally Radi Radiant range. And it's just so nice. Once I put it on, even though I've said about this nice natural glow I've got, but once this is on, it just looks so nice. So I'm gonna pop some of this on. What I do is I just get two pumps like this on my finger, kind of rub it throughout my fingers like this. And then I just moisturize it into my skin. So I'll let that kind of soak in. Do you know what I mean now? Look at this. Look at how healthy my skin looks. Oh, that, and then I'll just like, before putting my makeup on, I'll just put like a little lip balm on. So yes, that's what I do to prep my skin for putting makeup on. I do try and let everything like soak in and dry before I start putting like, you know, makeup products on. But yeah, that is pretty much it. You don't need much. Just try and make sure that your skin is clean before you start putting makeup on. Make sure you're moisturising. Just make sure you're moisturising. Yeah, so now that everything's dry and, you know, soaked in and 
I'm gonna start with my primers. I use a lot of primers, okay? Please don't get at me. <laughs> I use a pore filling primer if I'm doing like looks like this. This is the collection Primed and Ready. And I normally only use this on my nose, forehead, and chin because I, I'm a bit, you know, porous there. I get a bit on my finger and then I rub it between my fingers and this is to thin it out. And then I'll place it where I need it. So I'm just at first doing it on my nose, like my cheeks. And then I like push it in. And whenever I do this, I can like feel like air bubbles pop in and I'm going to go ahead and assume that that is it going into my pores. And then I'm just going to do the same on my forehead and my chin. And basically I'm just a little bit porous like here and just above my eyebrows. So that's where I'll put that. I'll do the same thing, just kind of push. I don't feel it as much here though, I don't think my pores are that big. But then I use the last little bit, I like scrunch up my forehead, you see those lines? They come up all the time if I wear makeup without this. It just settles into those lines. Even though right now you can't see them, I kind of do this and use the remaining like to try and fill them in. So that's it for the pore filling one. And then I like to use this one and I'm still in like trial with this. I've not had this very long. I've probably had this for like two weeks and I'm not 100% sure about it. I know this got a lot of like really good reviews and like I've seen loads of people using it. And, but basically this is a skin perfecting primer and it's oil free. I'm not gonna lie, it feels really nice. When I touch my skin when I'm using this, it does make my skin feel really soft, but I don't know if it makes like a difference in how my skin looks. I'll get a little bit on my finger, the same as before, and just kind of dot it around. And I try and do this like really carefully, trying to not disrupt the one we have underneath. And then my favourite one, and the one I would, you know, drop the other two for, is my e.l.f. Primer Mist. The reason I love this is because it's so tacky on my skin, and I truly believe that this is why my makeup stays on so long. I love this, this is my like number one primer. If I didn't have this then I just, I just don't know. So I spray it into my hand and then tap it all over my face. My skin I like... I got some chills! Are you done? So yeah, that's all dry now. But like my skin kind of like sticks to my fingers, which is great because it means everything else is going to stick to my face and stay there hopefully. I will normally colour correct. Probably just gonna do like a, a little bit today. Okay, I've got the NYX color correcting like palette. And um, so I'll just get a bit on my finger and pop it on top of little like red blemishes. And then I'm gonna put my foundation on. I'm gonna be using my LA Girl one today. I really like this one. I have been mixing this with my Pure Bear It's All. And that's just because when I first got this and I used it all over my face and I was like, this isn't gonna match, but it did. I was a bit more tan then. It was not long after I was back off holiday. However, I am losing my tan. I do still really, really like this. The coverage is really nice and it, it stays for ages, but it's, it's not the right colour anymore. So I'll put this one down first. And then I'm going to use this one. And this one is a little bit runny. I'll try and put it above the pure one, so the pure maybe stops it from just running away. To blend it all together, I like to use my Revolution Scylla Sponge. I've been really, really loving this for foundation. i found that it just, it's just so nice. <laughs> so yeah, this is what I use, like, without fail for my foundation. And what I like to do is, like, mix these two together first, like this, and then pat it over my face. I don't know if any of you have ever noticed me putting foundation on my ear. If you have and you're like, why'd you do that? It's just to make sure there's no like line. So that's my foundation on. Also, I'm going to use a little bit of the pink from the NYX Colour Corrector palette under my eyes just to hide any like blueness that might be there. And then I like to use my trusty, if I can find it, Tarte Shape Tape. This is my like favourite concealer of all time. So yes, yeah, so I like to use this under my eyes, here. I will also put a bit on my forehead on the tip of my nose. So I'll put a tiny itty bit, bitty bit on my nose. A little bit on my bridge. Cupid's bow. And my chin. Like that. And if you're not aware of like, you know, highlighting and contouring your face, the reason we do this is to lighten the areas that would, you know, naturally be hit by the sun. So obviously the tip of my nose and my forehead stick out the most, my chin of course as well. So they would naturally have like a lighter colour. They would like they would have a, a naturally lighter shade to them. Um, we do the under eyes because making your under eyes look brighter than the rest of your face makes your makes you look a bit like healthier. And then I do my cupid's bow and like my bridge because I like my cupid's bow to be out there. I like I like highlighting my cupid's bow as well. I think it looks really pretty. And I do the bridge because if I just do the tip of my nose and my forehead, it looks really weird. So I have recently been using Real Techniques tiny sponges for my concealers just because I find that I don't like using a silicone sponge for this, especially under my eyes. It's too big. I found these and I thought they were perfect. 
and they are. So yeah, I like to use these to blend out my concealers. It's also a bit more controlled. Whenever I used to use like my beauty blender for like under my eye, it would end up just going like, bleh, like everywhere, <laughs> so. And how you like conceal your face is all up to the features you want to show off and the features you don't want to show off. For example, I don't know highlight too much on my forehead. I only did like this amount. Whereas if you've got a really small forehead, you can like highlight more of it to make it look a bit bigger. If you've got a bigger forehead, you can like highlight it really, really like a, a small amount of it or none and then like contour a lot. But yeah, it's all up to you. You just got to find out what parts of your like face that you want to draw attention to and what parts of your face you don't want to draw attention to. And once you figure that out, it's just so much easier to do your makeup. It's easy to watch YouTube videos and see how other people do things and think, yes, that's how I'm supposed to do it. Everyone's face is different and you need to like, you just, you just need to figure out your own face. I know that sounds weird, but. So that's all the highlighting I do on my face. And then I'm going to prime my eyes now really quick. I use the same concealer for my for my eyes. I like to prime my eyes with concealer because it's cheaper than buying an eye primer and if you've got a good concealer it works so. So that's it for my foundation and my concealer and then I powdered my whole face using my RCMA powder. This powder is the bee's knees. There's so much of it. I've had this for like two months I think and there's just still so much of it. And my favourite way to apply the powder to my face recently is with like a little powder puff. I'm not going to show you the other side because it's disgusting. But this is the Barry M one from the old powder I had. But yeah, I really like this. I feel like it really like pushes the powder into my skin rather than just sitting on top. Which then I, I feel like it just, you know, keeps everything in place. So I like to do my eyes first. I don't know why. I just do. So the way I do this is I pick a bit up and then I literally just like pat but like pressing just to make sure everything like you know I just I don't really like makeup just sitting on top of my skin because it just looks very unnatural and gross so I like to you know do a nice little little push push it in there and I use this all over my face just because I like it <laughs> and then you just want to take a big brush just any big brush it doesn't matter so I've got this big brush and just wipe away the excesses Excesses? Excess? I don't know. What I like to do, I have places on my face that crease really easily, even if I've like powdered it how I just have. So you do want to like bake them. So my main places that are really annoying that crease are these bits of my nose. So I get like excess powder and put it down like that. And basically what, what baking does is, it kind of, I don't want to say like soaks up, but it does. It kind of like, you know, it soaks up the concealer so it's not still like liquidy. And this stops it from settling into lines. I don't know how to say this, but basically it just stops it setting into lines. So I'm gonna do the same with my forehead and then under my eyes as well. And you let that bake for a little while and normally I would do other things whilst I'm waiting for this to bake. I would probably start contouring and stuff like that. But that's a new video because I could talk about contouring for like years, so. I've recently like seen a new area that creases and I think it's whenever I like play with my septum. Whenever I play my septum, I do this. And if you can see when I do it, mm -hmm. like that line, like I come, I've recently been coming home and then looking in the mirror and seeing like lines like there and I'm like, they're not even like my smile lines, what's that from? And then obviously I realise it's from pulling that face. I'm going to bake there as well. I've got to like find the lines, I don't know where they are without finding them, which looks really weird, but. So yes, basically just make yourself look like a weird cat. And then just let that bake. I'm gonna wipe the one off my forehead. If I leave that there too long, it does end up looking like just a white mark across my forehead. Skin. Oh my god. What you to Close your door. No, the table's behind it. I would personally say for myself, I've perfected this. Hopefully this has helped you perfect your routine. If there's things in this that you know you didn't know of or you just you never tried, then hopefully you will try it and be like, oh my god, that was great, and that really helped. But let me know down below anything that you know you've never done before or you've never even heard before that you think you're gonna try or that you have tried before and hasn't worked for you, you know. I just I'm really nosy and I just want to know everyone's technique. Next week's video, I will be showing you how I contour and highlight. But yes, thank you so much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next week. Bye.